make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. One of the most iconic comic book characters of all time is kind of boring when you look at his power set. However, amazing when you look at his hope in humanity, his faith in others, and his massive amount of restraint. Superman, a paragon of what we should all strive to be. Someone with immense power, but who shows restraint enough to let others live free. Today, let's discuss the idea of what people or government would look like if they had the same philosophy that guides Superman. All right, probably the most political that we're going to get. On yeah, this. I'm a little confused on this one because you want a government with the morality of Superman or? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, so here's so here's the idea, right? There's a lot of talk right now um, across the world about, you know, people in power mm -hmm. going for power, power grabs, power this, power that. Once you get power, you don't want to give power up this <laughs> and the other thing. <clears throat> but anyway... I'm not coming down with something. Just stop it. But anyway, I don't want to get too into like the <laughs> one side or the other debate on this because I don't really care because I've paid attention to politics in right. my whole life. But, yeah, yeah. you know, just with all this power grab this, power grab that, power grab this. Or, you know, one of these days, I, one day I was uh, um, uh, watching my, my comic book videos as I watch because I love, I, I, I don't uh, I read a lot of comic books, but I love the stories. I love the mythology and I love just learning about them and their characters. Right. Yeah. And one of the things that you always think about is the guy with the ultimate power in, in, in a lot of comic books. Didn't Superman literally punch a black hole at one point? Uh, it's, there's some stupid, he's done, <laughs> he's pulled a galaxy. He's like sneezed away like planets. It's, you know, he became the sun at one point. Okay. I'm, he, there's went, some symbolism he, for you. He, yeah. He um. cured some sun cancer. It's, but there's a lot in, in Superman's character where you, you want to talk about people grabbing power. And right. the, and it was just cool. I was, I was sitting there th uh, uh, thinking about something one day, uh, and, and it was a comic book related, and, and Superman popped into my head, and I was like, well, everybody's talking about people getting power, but what an interesting concept would it be to talk about a guy who already has it? Right. Who doesn't like lord it over people? Who uses it to help people? He uses and it he's to help people and, 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 yeah. and hugely restrained. Hugely restrained. I believe it was in. Uh, um, oh, what series was it in? It was. Um, there's a great line. I believe it was in uh, Justice League, the animated series, uh, where or it might have been in Justice League Unlimited, where Superman is like, you know, what we have here is a rare opportunity for me to cut loose. You know, I live in a world made of cardboard and I have to, and every time I take a step, I have to be careful not to cause an earthquake. And you're just like, Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> and it's such a great speech. No wonder it's he so, flies everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And it's such a great speech that you kind of realize, Holy crap. Like the amount. And, and, and that's what I wanted to talk about is what, how different would the world look if we actually had people with that morality of Superman, that they could have power over everyone, but not lord it over them. And really just th thinking about this idea that this whole gimme, gimme, gimme idea, you really never saw that in the character like Superman. Well, so I think, and, I think some and there's of it, a lot that, to learn there. Well, there's an old phrase, those who seek power are those who least deserve it, right? Yeah. And well, Superman never sought power. He was just born with it yes um and honestly on krypton he just would have been a normal dude yeah and um but being on earth he there's something to do with the sun and so yeah. I, I i don't follow all the yeah you're fine the ins you're and outs fine. of it but you being go. on earth he is more powerful than he would even be on krypton plus it's got the lower mass so he's so he's able to you know be super strong he's well, got that, muscle that, density and all yeah, that yeah. and so all that ties in and so but he never sought power is the point I'm driving at? It, he it was just intrinsic to him. Well, and, and so and, there was and, never that grab for it. He never had to try to get power. He just had it. Well, and there was Whereas, a lot of that. Mon Pa Kent, you know, mm -hmm. uh, taught him. 
you know, restraint and understanding in this real small town, you know, don't flaunt what you have. Be careful with, be careful with what you can do because you wouldn't want to hurt anybody else. And right. This, you know, this real home, kind of the hometown values that. And, that, and that's I, why Kevin Bacon had to get, or, you know, get, you know, swept up by the tornado. Or was it Keith Sutherland? It was I, I, It was uh, but, uh, Sutherland. I, like was, I hated yeah. that. that. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> I don't. Nope. Nope. No, there hasn't been a movie that the Christopher Reeves ones, the oh, the first two. Yeah, I think by the right. time we got to Quest for Peace, it was starting well, to there go was down. A lot, there was a lot in there. There was a lot, but no. But the, but Christopher it's the Reeves, one where he flies around the Earth. Back that, that was that was the uh, Superman one, I believe. It's okay. been it's been many many years since I've seen <laughs> okay. it, but so. But it's this I. But again, one of the things that, that, that so many people miss when it comes to talking about Superman and what we're supposed to learn from Superman, because I talked to a lot of people like, I don't like Superman as a character. That's oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't like him either. I mean, to just be that freaking OP, you know, and just kind of come in like a wrecking house if he has to. And, you know, comic books, they obviously find situations that he struggles with, blah, 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 this, that, and the other thing. Usually involving kryptonite, yes. Yeah, but, uh, well, and sometimes not. Sometimes okay. just absence of light, absence of sunlight, absence okay. of, you know things of that nature and but but you know you you always i so many people miss the point of superman and what would the world look like if we actually got it if yeah. we actually got this idea that you know every little bit of because we all have power in our own right you know we all have oh, yeah. power in our own lives over our own lives to a certain extent to a certain extent to the people around us and all of that and just the the, the morality of superman being like okay he has all of the power and politicians have tried to manipulate Superman before, and you do see some instances where, you know, that morality does get tested and does get pushed to the limit. But ultimately, you know, you never take that that strength and that ability to just lord it over everyone and to restrict people. His whole goal was to never restrict people, was to never lead people. His whole goal was kind of the 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 you know the 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 Christ figure goal and right. show people how to live, not tell. Not tell them how to live. Exactly. Yeah. You know, show not tell. And it was just all this talk about power lately just brought this up, you know. Um and and how differently would it look if so what exactly is it that you're trying to say about a government with the morality of super? So are you saying that they are intrinsically powerful but choose not to utilize it? Or are you saying – because, I mean, government, unfortunately, at least as much as I've seen with, you know, real world, is that by having a you know, elected official, they have to, you know, put themselves on the ballot, which yeah. is seeking power. Is it actually possible to have somebody with that morality because of that very – contradiction those who seek power don't deserve it and in order to get office in a democratic or republican society it's not the party republic a republic yeah no yeah, democratic it's, republic or anything yeah yeah, yeah uh, it's you know but you inherently you're seeking a certain amount of power so is that even possible because superman as a, and that's why i pointed that out i don't know i i i i i would be interested in to see to to see what that might be like i would be interested in 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 trying to to find a politician out there or a few of them because none of them are who who would go for you know who wouldn't want to lord it over people and really kind of discussing like what what power is why it changes us what it turns us into what what again you know what would a government with that morality of you know the the idea that you don't have to uh in order for the best results you show people you don't tell them oh indeed and i i i just with all again it's it's such an interesting idea that a lot of people miss the point of superman a lot of people miss oh, the so point of him and i think a lot of people in in narratives there's um a type of character that's known as a paragon Somebody who doesn't have a lot of room for character growth because they're already kind of there. There, but what they are is they are now the you know used in mentor roles or they're there for you know kind of world um, peace type things. Um, another great example of a paragon is Gandalf. Yeah, you know, he's this uh, he's a Maiar, and I'm not going to go too deep into the Lord of the Rings mythology, but for those who um, 
pay attention, they're something akin to like a demigod. Yeah, yeah. Um, and understand. but Gandalf, he doesn't have to grow as a character. Now, Ian McKellen in the movies shows a little bit more, I think, humanized traits than I think what book Gandalf. Did, but Gandalf was very sure of his actions, and he knew Sauron had to be stopped, but he doesn't need to go about and telling people how to live their lives. He's going to sit there and advise from the background. That's why they chose the, vi- the visage of a yeah, wizard, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. this wise old man. That's, why, that's there... why the five wizards came. Mm-hmm, in the, the, the Astari. Mm-hmm. And uh, they came as guides and counselors and um, advisors, not as conquerors or tyrants. And when one did, that's when you get the War of the Ring. Well, and... and... You know, and, and that's the one interesting thing about Superman is there are Elseworlds world stories where he did turn into a tyrant. He did oh, become, okay. uh, you know, you think of the Ultraman persona, uh, Superman Red Sun, which I'm not hugely familiar with that story. Now, are these be... the uh, Earth Prime Supermans or are these like uh, the, the... the Elseworlds, Elseworlds stories? Oh, okay. I would have to read a lot of them. I, I know about a lot of them. Again, okay. I... I'm always I, I look at comics in a in a in a different way. I look at it as more of a history and yeah. understanding, you know, the characters and it's just fun for me. I love yeah, yeah. but but the I, I guess I just wanted to sit here and, and sit back and be like can we have people who can be in positions of power who can yeah, who still... can who can who do believe in 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 restraint you know, restraint of their own of their own ability. And I guess that's one thing. Can 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 we see a government that has power that believes in restraining its own power anymore? That's going to be a hard one because I don't know of too many historical it, ones. And, that, and, 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 and if even if they start that way, they almost never end that way. Well, yeah. And I don't disagree with you there. And it would, like I said, there was just this whole, just this, 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 with everything going on in the world right now, all yeah. this, the you know the pandemic stuff, and 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 everybody. You know, people are at each other's throats. I mean, oh, I've seen friendships get destroyed through political arguments, this, that, and the other thing. And it always comes back to government this, government that, you know. And, you know, the one thing that, you know, whether you're on the right or the left or whatever, you know, like some people say, oh, well, we want the government to do this for us. Other people would say, oh, well, we don't want the government to have too much power or anything like right. that. And, you know, and a lot of people, you know, although Superman did do a lot, nobody ever said we want Superman to do this for us. That's, I don't uh, think that's also ever, like key thing and i've seen you know for a um is it the incredibles or is it um mega mind where you see this but it's a it's a kid's movie it's an animated kid's yeah, movie yeah yeah where there's a superhero and they just start to rely so much on them that they uh they start to fail to want to handle their own problems there is a that story. was talked about a lot in incredibles too okay that's that probably that, i think that's incredible i think too. that was the point of the whole villain actually was yeah. a screen slaver yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I watched it here at the kids. The kids wanted to watch yeah, 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 it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, no, and 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 that's something you really don't see with with Superman. No. You know, yeah, the guy does a lot for everybody, but he it seems like his character is to do just enough to let this... other people do their own thing, to let other people live how they want to live, to you know, and, and this idea is like, what can we learn from Superman? What can we? take away from his characters i'm going to be honest when you get a guy that op you're just coming out oh, superman's here you know well, it's, I mean, it's gonna get handled. It, that, that's the, and even in some of the comic books it gets a little bit you know like oh, he's i know, the, you know but he's that's the, the Ex, but. that's the question of omnipotence in general right is if you are truly omnipotent can you act without affecting free will well and i don't that, yeah that's 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 God. a very heady topic and no, that's, super- that's way above and beyond what i wanted this show to be okay <laughs> well i just figured i'd throw it out well, because no, superman but, is just on the cusp of well yeah and yeah. Actually, there are some instances where um, he he. No, nah, never mind. Not going into the stories. All right. There's, but there's, but they he are does just some too ridiculous there, yeah. stuff. stuff. But, yeah. And I, we look at these things as people. We have our superheroes. We have our, you know, we have our 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 Captain Americas. We well, they're have ideals, our, right? Yeah, it's... and and you kind of look at that and. And you wonder why a lot of these characters are fairy tales. They come from us. Yeah. They're us. They come from us. Well, these like I said, they're, they're our from ideals. Us, that's who that, we are. That's why so many of them are the Superman, that paragon sort of character that, you know, you don't need Superman to go through trials and tribulations. He's just a paragon. He's there to, you know, fix things and show how to be a good person while doing so. So then how, how would you, yeah, I mean, what would the world look like with, with, with a true many pa- people, with many people like that, a, tr- a government like that, what would a the world tr- look like? You know, somebody who is truly a paragon. 
Yeah. What would and you... I don't know because I don't think we've ever does, seen does it. Does government try to do that? I don't think so. Which is odd. And this is something I've noticed is that, you know, we write all this amazing fiction about what we ought to do. And yet very few of us ever try to do it. You know, how many people have looked at a sitcom and said, God, I wish I had friends like those, but then sit there and, you know, act like total dicks to all their friends. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, so if you're going to, you know, try and learn something from fiction, and that's what I think the whole point of this discussion you, is, is try and learn, learn from, from fiction. You know, you take somebody who has at such a high level of power and strength that he could shape the world, but chooses not to. That lets people still live. If you could actually get, and and this is where I asked my question about, can, you know, and it's not just restricted to democratic societies either. Anytime you have somebody who seeks power, whether it's, you know, through elections or other means, you are still seeking a form of power. We, and we, th we, th we is that to... truly make it impossible to have that morality? Because again, and I keep, I, I feel like I'm harping on this a little too much, but it is important to me is that part of the reason Superman is who he is, is because he never asked for it. Yeah. Well, and I guess that's part of the reason why in history you've seen, you know, good kings and good queens and, 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 you know, uh, and, no, and, some, and thusly bad as well. As some that, Game of Thrones, but real life uh, stuff so, happens and the third nephew becomes king who just thought he was going to go off and, you know, learn art somewhere. All of a sudden he's king. He never asked for it. And so he's probably better than the guy that just, you know, tried never to ask for it. I mean, it's essentially, yeah. you know, not to go back to Lord of the Rings too much here, but Aragorn. Well, again, Aragorn is—he's not quite a paragon, but he's well, close. no, he's not. Then book Aragorn is very different from, from, from movie from Aragorn, Aragorn, but they, but they do share a lot of tendencies. They're both highly capable, yeah. and they're both you know capable of you know very amazing feats, right? Mm -hmm. Which would be power, right? That you know I would not want a one v one Aragorn with swords, no, um, or Viggo Mortensen for that matter. You know, I'll take mm -hmm. him over Aragorn, but still no. <laughs> 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 but it's um. You know, you have all this, you know, these characters who show restraint, who show mercy, who show compassion. And whether it's, you know, a government or a monarchy or whatnot, uh, depending on the story, because some of them have more mm. real world setups. Yeah. And some are still going off of that old medieval king setup. But you still see it, right? These are leaders who are able to show vision, foresight, wisdom, compassion, restraint, which are all traits I think Superman has, depending on the story. Um, I think the, what is it, the Earth Prime Superman, the one mm -hmm. that's supposed to be here, he always shows those. And then mm -hmm. when they want to play around with this character a bit more, they go for the alternate universe. Well, no, they do play around with Earth Prime Superman a little bit, too. Okay. Well, and anymore, they reboot they reboot so much in comics anymore, it's really hard to kind of keep track of, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. of what the character is anymore. But for yeah, the most part, enough. I mean, you see these ideals just carried along in this I. You know, this idea of, again, everybody's talking about governments doing power grabs with everything going on in the world right now. And that was just like, well, and again, I don't know how this idea popped into my head, but it was like, but, but what would it look like? What would the world look like if we actually had people who, and again, and I, I think what you're saying is that we, we probably won't be able to get it because the people in government seek power. And, and to have a Superman, you can't be seeking power. You just have to intrinsically have it. Indeed. And so my the whole premise of my show is is I guess the the only president I'll name you know by name here is Jerry Ford. He never asked for it. He was Speaker of the House, and then when uh, Agnew resigned, he got to be VP. And then when Nixon resigned, he became president. He was the only president that was never elected. He's the only president that never sought it. Yeah. And he's still considered to be one of the best men to hold the office. I don't know if he would be considered the most e efficient president. Or, right. But he's considered one of the best men. And again, you look at it. He never sought it. Yeah. He, he obviously sought some political... Yeah, you know, some political... Yeah. Yeah, and that's why he was Speaker of the House. That's why he was even in position to take it on. But you look at... You know, he never... Maybe he would have in a decade. I don't know. But it's... he ne At the time that he held the Oval Office, he never looked for it. He yeah. never sought it. So... Yeah. And I can, I, I guess that makes sense. And so I guess the idea here is, you know, instead of asking the question that I did in the beginning, you know, what a government would look like, you know, if they had the morality of Superman, it's more like, what would the world look like if people had if them? people just mm -hmm. had that morality? What Indeed. could we do that? Is it even possible? And I mean, I guess in many instances, it's probably not really that possible. It's probably not really that much of it because again you you just have to kind of have the power but i think ultimately i guess i would prefer more people in positions in influential positions that would show instead of tell 
Indeed. And there are very few of them in the world. There are some. Guide, some guide them, not dictate. Yeah, exactly. And it, it is a, exa- it, no, it's and a I, fine I, it's a fine line. It really I, no, is. And I, I absolutely think uh, all I, too easy to cross. No, and, and, and it's, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, I, I, I get it. And it's know. it's really I you know, I just I just wanna make sure that at least in my lifetime, maybe I try to I guess show my kids instead of tell them. Right. And maybe that's part of the reason I wanted to have this conversation and try to really dig deep. Uh, when you have, what's and, going on all right. Time. So here's the question, and just because we're starting to run out of time here, here's a question I will ask all the viewers and anybody you share this with: is if you are in a position of any authority over another person, show don't tell, guide don't dictate, and you know have patience, wisdom, foresight, empathy. It's asking a lot, and it's not something you're no, going to get overnight. Something you'll work out the rest of your life, but that'd be my advice. And this goes for, you know, lawyers, doctors, <laughs> parents. You said lawyers. I know. Um, Asking a lot here. <laughs> Politicians, all of them. Think about the power, wield it responsibly. To quote one more comic book par- character, with great power comes great responsibility. I don't know. All right. Yep. Well, time is up wrong, on this though. episode, guys. So I know this is kind of a little bit of an out there type topic, but it was just something that was rattling around in my brain, especially with what's going on in Hopefully the Hopefully I was able to kind of suss out what you were going for. Yeah, I don't no, know. and I, I, I think we did. I think we did. And it's more of just looking towards the ideals of, of, of what the world could look like if we had more people who really did hold certain ideals. And, but, you know, uh, outside of that, we are going to cut this one. I believe next episode not, not- is... The marvelous humor episode. That's, sorry, sorry. Did was that, that poor timing again? Yep. Yep. yep no. See you guys on the next one. And stay tuned to the end to find out how you can support the channel. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. We have been having conversations like this for years, and we are so happy to include all of you in them. Don't forget to comment down below with your thoughts on all of our videos to tell us what you guys think, how we're wrong, how we might be right, or just differing opinions. We always love to hear that. The two biggest things you guys can do to help this channel grow is to share it with all of your friends and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of all of our upcoming videos. We really do hope that you guys like some of the deep dives and some of the non-deep dives that we do into the various different forms of pop culture. And we look forward to seeing you guys in future videos and live streams and everything involved with A Drink With Crazy. So until next time, we look forward to seeing you and we appreciate all of your support. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.